No one likes to be dehydrated, but sometimes it's hard to keep up with drinking enough water. And in this video, we discuss why it's so important to stay hydrated for your gut health. First off, let's clear up a misconception of what dehydration is. It's not simply that you're not drinking enough water, it's that you're not taking in enough water relative to what you're losing. And so being in the sun too much, sweating, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, certain medications, caffeine, all can contribute to dehydration. And it's not just about water. When you're having nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, not only are you losing water, but you're losing important electrolytes and acids and base, and your body chemistry is getting off balance. And dehydration makes you sick because it disrupts this balance. And as you lose those important acids and bases and the filling volume for your heart to pump, it throws off your entire body and your organs can shut down. Let's take the effects of dehydration on your GI tract from top to bottom. And starting with your mouth, you can get halitosis, which is the fancy way of saying bad breath. As you become dehydrated, your saliva thickens and your mouth becomes dry, causing bad breath. But important to me as a gastroenterologist, this makes it harder to chew your food and therefore more difficult to swallow, a condition we call dysphagia. Without adequate saliva to wet down your food and keep your esophagus running smoothly, trying to swallow can feel like getting wedgy riding down a hot slide. When food gets stuck in the esophagus, it's a medical emergency called a food bolus, and we discussed that in a separate video. But your esophagus is meant to be a water slide, so keep it running smoothly by drinking adequate water. Dehydration is not so much considered a cause of acute pancreatitis, though there are some case reports that it can occur. But more significantly, we think that it can aggravate chronic pancreatitis. The thinking here is that as you get dehydrated, much like your saliva thickens, your pancreatic secretions thicken, and that makes it more likely to clog the pancreatic duct and make chronic pancreatitis flare. When you get dehydrated, your heart and brain are the most vital organs to preserve. And that means other organs get inadequate blood flow to preserve them. And some other organs are pretty important too, and those include some of the GI tract. The GI tract will compromise its own blood flow in order to save the heart and brain. That means that the liver and the colon can often get injured, conditions we call ischemic hepatitis and ischemic colitis. These conditions tend to occur in patients who have pre-existing vascular conditions such as atherosclerosis, but there has to be a second injury to trigger the ischemic hepatitis or the ischemic colitis, and dehydration is a common cause to trigger this illness. If you have ischemic colitis, you may find that you have symptoms of diarrhea, but more often when a person is dehydrated, they'll experience constipation. If you become dehydrated, your intestines won't produce as much juices, which will lead to drier, harder stools that are more difficult to pass, hence the constipation. If you're having fiber, but you're not taking an adequate amount of water with it, you won't achieve the full benefit of the fiber to promote regularity. While dehydration can contribute to constipation, drinking an excessive amount of water will not make you have more bowel movements. It simply means that your bowel will absorb the excess water and you'll pee more. So while maintaining adequate hydration will prevent constipation, drinking excess water is not gonna make you have a lot of bowel movements. Dehydration causes negative effects on every part of the body. But if you wanna learn more about gut health, subscribe to this channel. Thank you and be safe.